I'm Nathan. And I'm Jerry. We are farming our backyard. After a really relaxing uh, weekend, oh, we didn't have that. After this weekend, yesterday we took the day off and uh, enjoyed our Easter together. Went to church, slowed down a little bit for a day. Now I'm back into the daily grind and gonna be working so come out and do evening chores together and we're gonna go in and have supper together i got some exciting videos that i'm working on for you guys last couple days what happened and so i just wanted to shoot a quick video to catch you up here my uh my brother-in-law came down yesterday and took the tree off the fence for us. Sorry. Started chunking it up a little bit. The bar on the chainsaw is sort of short for a log this big around. So we'll uh, get another chainsaw. We'll use it, come back, try to come back and use that one and see if we can finish chunking it up. The uh, future egg layers of farming our backyard are over here. Been really active today. Now they're all gonna run and hide, but they're starting to turn into the all black coat that the Allstrops are known for. We have kittens on the farm again because it's supposed to be so rainy and wet this week. These chicks are still in here. I don't know. Hopefully we'll get them out of here, but I don't want to lose anymore. So, but this is where they have to be. This is where they have to be. The water seems to be working out really good though. As we walk out into this pasture, you can see how this field looks really torn up with tire tracks and hoof prints. This is the field where my dad and brother have been feeding the cows their hay for the past couple months. As we get farther into spring and summer, this pasture will start growing grass again and it may be a little tore up but we feel that it is better to have the cattle out on pasture in winter instead of having them cooped up in a barn where they can catch diseases more easily. This footage is of Nathan and I as we check the cows for any new calves that have been born that day. Generally, our cows don't have any problems calving but we like to keep an eye on them to make sure that there are no problems because the faster you catch a problem, the more likely you are to have a good outcome. We are just starting to calve for the majority of the cows. We have had a few cows calve this winter and we just had two calves born this last week. But the majority of the cows have not calved yet. So as they are starting to calve and we have more calves on the ground, we will be sure to take you out there and show you the calves. Because it's always exciting to see the new little babies running around. And they're so playful with each other and 
some of them even like to come up and try to play with us. As you may have noticed, I am wearing sandals here in this video. The weekend before, my boots had sprung a leak, and I hadn't realized it. And when I went out to check cows, I went to walk through a wet spot, and uh, I was shocked to discover that my boot was taking in water, and I actually fell. Now, I had a request to reenact this, but once was enough for me. I will replace those boots when I am in town and have a chance to stop and buy a new pair. As we're nearing the end of checking cows, we're walking up on the two calves that were born last week. One of them's a little heifer calf and one of them's a little bull calf. And this is a good example of what I was talking about earlier. They just really want to play and they're so friendly. This is probably what makes spring my favorite season is the new calves being born and the grass starting to green up. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you joining us on these adventures as we farm our backyard. If you enjoyed this content, please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe.